Hello, in this video, I explained to you how to collect data from WellBank through Starter, which comes in a way that is organized in panel data setup. So what do you need to do first? Is to install the user written command called WellBank open data. So this blue one, and one, once you install that, then it's easy to collect the data that you need directly from WellBank. I'm sure it's also available for other um, other web pages, but uh, I only know about WellBank Open Data. So how do you install that? Just type ssc install uh, wb open data and Let's try with this example on uh, economic indicators like GDP per capita and GDP growth, for example. So let's go into um, WellBank website. So you just go to uh, WellBank. So here it has this one because I have used it before. So WellBank development indicators that is one of the databases <clears throat> by the way in the in one of my, the videos i have showed how to um I have showed different databases at wellbound so if i interested in several databases you just open here but now we want to collect just um, information on uh, well development indicators and i'm interested in gdp so I open here, it says GDP per capita, for example. Then it takes me to variables, list of variables that have GDP on that. So it says GDP. Now, let me just have only GDP and see. So I can quickly go to where we have GDP per capita. Okay, so here I have GDP. I have GDP, but I'm looking for GDP per capita. Here is it. So all I need to know before I can collect the data directly from uh, Stata is to look for the code. So if I open GDP per capita growth, so there I need this code. So this is the GDP per capita. So I need this code in Stata to be able to work. So that's why I come here to show you. So if you need several uh, variables, be sure to look for the code by clicking on this I dot. Okay. But instead of also, you can also get the same code. So let's go to Stata. And then you just have to type help. Okay. Uh, the same WellBank command. So once you do that, the type help it will open up this one that contains all the databases I just showed you from one all the way to eight, uh, 78. This is not updated in the WellBank website is up to 85. But if you keep going down, you then see all the code, but that may take long time. Let me just type GDP per capita, for example, you see? So it brings me to GDP per capita, and then I can, uh, sorry, here. So all I need is this code. This is GDP per capita, and I have to copy this code to uh, my do file, or I simply copy it. And this is GDP growth. I can also copy this one. So you copy that to your do file, and you are ready to download. But if you type help, the command, you see how to set it up. So first the command indicator, so you open the parentheses and put all the indicators. So I'm interested in GDP per capita constant and GDP per capita growth and GDP itself and also GDP growth. After I have listed the, the indicators, I need to show that I want to have it in a panel setup. So I have to type long and then clear is just to remove any memory, anything that is on the memory. 
And then the year range. So I have to type, for example, I want 2012 all the way to 2022. So once I have that, I simply click here and then it will collect the data immediately for you. So let's try it. So you see, it is loading up the data. Now I have the data I want. I have collected four variables. So let's take a look for all the countries. So I go to browse and then I have all of them here. So we have the countries and uh, regions, all the countries that we have data for. All of them are here, okay? So see that you can rename the variables to rename that you want, but these are just the code. All right, this is how we collect data that is organized in a panel setup directly from uh, Stata. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.